The following section of this video deals with forensic exams and the medical options for sexual assault survivors. While you may not feel any injuries or intend to prosecute, the forensic exam offers treatment for any injuries, treatment for the prevention of sexually transmitted infections and in pregnancy, and evidence collection in case you choose to be involved in prosecution. Because of the nature of this crime, the forensic exam is time sensitive and may not be an option for everyone. However, medical resources are always available for wellness checks and the prevention and testing for sexually transmitted infections and in pregnancy. Hi, my name is Melinda Wheeler and I'm the Director of Forensic Nurse Specialists. This is a private company that contracts directly with law enforcement agencies and hospitals to provide registered nurses and nurse practitioners specially trained in the area of forensics to be available 24-7 for any person that reports a sexual assault. Here in Orange County, once a person determines that they would want a forensic examination, they would be taken to Anaheim Regional Medical Center to an area that we call safe place. This is a unit donated by the hospital to be available for any person who reports this crime. And it's designed to be a confidential, private, warm, safe environment for all of the care and treatment that we provide. Now, if a victim were to walk into their local hospital into the emergency department seeking services for a sexual assault exam, the hospital and the healthcare providers are mandated reporters. So they would have to call the police and report this crime. Of course, they would perform any emergency medical treatment that needed to be done if the victim had injuries. But most of the local hospitals are asked not to perform any forensic evidence collection and leave it for the forensic nurses to do. Now, once the police arrive at that ER, they will talk to the victim and determine that a crime has been com committed and then talk to the victim about having a forensic exam done here at Safe Place at Anaheim Regional Medical Center. It would be the victim's choice whether or not an examination would continue. Once we all arrive at Safe Place, and the team has been called out, which is the forensic nurse as well as an advocate from CSP, we would all meet together to sit down and begin what we call a joint interview process. The interview and details of the assault and what happened can be very detailed and sensitive. California state law allows any victim to have an advocate present and a support person of their choosing during the interview as well as examination process. Once the interview is completed, we would transition to start the examination. And again, the victim can have anyone that she would like, a support person or the advocate to be present for the examination or have that examination in private, just the forensic nurse and the victim. We collect several types of evidence to be used in the investigation of the crime. First is what most of us know about, and that is DNA evidence. We collect DNA, biological evidence, from several areas of the victim's body. There is a commonly held myth that after bathing and showering or even washing clothes that there is no biological evidence available, so why bother to report? But that is actually not true. We have been able to find DNA after several showers. So that shouldn't stop anybody from reporting this crime. Clothing is often collected as evidence as well. So clothing worn during or after the sexual assault is collected. Here at Safe Place, we have clothing kits available, which are brand new pair of sweats or slacks and a top, along with underwear and personal hygiene items to be given to the victim when we collect clothing. We also have a shower available here at Safe Place for the victim to use. The other types of evidence that we collect is what we call trace evidence, which can be twigs or pieces of grass or sand from a victim's hair 
or anywhere on her body, as well as injury evidence. So it is the forensic nurse's responsibility to look for any type of injury, whether it's scratches, bruises, or bite marks. And then we would photograph those injuries to have available as evidence about the crime. All of the reports and records and photographs are confidential and we would take those photographs with the victim's permission. Many sexual assaults are committed under the influence of drugs or alcohol, which can be very devastating to the victim because obviously drugs or alcohol alter the brain function and memory and sometimes the victim may not really know everything that happened to him or her. These type of cases are extremely important to report right away uh, to begin the investigative process as well as to receive early medical attention. The most important thing that a victim can do is to get immediately to a medical facility and have blood and urine collected so that we could potentially find out what was given and the timing of when that was given. Now after the examination process there are a couple treatment options that we offer every victim who comes here to Safe Place. One of them is what we call emergency postcoital contraception. In the past it's been referred to as the morning after pill. It's actually effective up to five days post unprotected intercourse. We offer this medication to every person that comes here and it is their choice to take the medication or not. The emergency contraception is two small pills, their birth control, hormone pills that are taken at one time and provide protection up to five days. One of the other treatment options we can offer is STD medication antibiotics. So they are commonly used antibiotics that we actually would give the victim a sexual assault here um, and would pr provide preventative protection against STDs. All of these medications are also provided by the UCI Campus Health Services so that you can go into the health services and request emergency contraception or STD prevention. As far as HIV testing or or STD testing that is not done here at Safe Place, but it is available to all students at UCI in the health services. So you can just go in and ask for um, the testing to be done there or to your regular doctor or healthcare provider or to an anonymous testing facility. It's important to understand that all of the records Everything that we write down here at Safe Place and all the photographs are confidential and protected very seriously. Only your investigating police agency has access to the reports and to the photographs or the victim's attorney with a subpoena. The hospital does not release any of these records to anybody else. The investigation is an important part of solving the crime and making the responsible person held accountable for what happened. One of our main priorities here is the well-being and health care of the person who's been sexually assaulted.